I grew up with a lot of legendary photographers. Trox is here. He's, you know, it's it's really cool. I don't know why I grew up with so many photographers. It's kind of mm. weird. Think about it. Some of my best yeah. friends are photographers, you know? It was interesting because, like, they would all shoot me as kids, like, coming up. Yeah. But I remember uh, when I would shoot with different photographers, I would actually tell them how to do it. It's like, right. no, like, get this, get this yeah, angle. Yeah. And I'd do my little trick. I always say, don't make me look fat. Like, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Like, Yeah, but it was cool. But then after a while, um, just randomly, I was doing a fashion show. And this uh, designer, he uh, double booked um, a photographer. Yeah. And then from there, um, the uh, photographer chose to go to the other job, and the job paid six grand. Yeah. And I said, I got it. I'm a photographer. Right? Yeah. Didn't own a camera. Didn't no. own anything. Oh, really? Oh, dude, I knew nothing Just about Just jumped into it. I'm like, come on, you look through the hole, you press the button. You know, that's all. How'd that work for you? I got six grand. <laughs> <laughs> How'd the photos come up? Perfect, because when you do a big shoot, yeah. your assistant does everything. Oh. I just went, just like I said. Yeah. But until I had to learn it. Right. And you learned with film. Learned with film. Obviously. Film was amazing. Yeah. Um, so when was that? When was that? When's the first time you picked up a camera? When was that? Well, the first, well, like the first time I picked up a camera, like I guess was when I was a little kid. You know, when you're, you're going yeah, yeah. to the zoo, you know, things like that. You ever have a 110? No. Oh, wait, wait, the little thin one. Yeah. Of course, of course, <laughs> with, the, with the cube. Yeah. With the cube flash, yeah, yeah definitely. And um, Kodak drive-through. Little. The little yeah. thing, yeah, 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 like I remember our parents going there and it would take at least like a week. And you skated? You were uh, a pretty... Man, yeah, like I've been skating since <laughs> <laughs> since um, 75. So I looked, we Long tried time. to we tried to blow up the, the magazine, uh, the cover magazine. Yeah, know? yeah, Thrasher. Yeah, I couldn't get it, but like I was trying to blow it up before you got here. Oh, uh, like, no way, that yeah, would have been so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, that would have been killer. Yeah. I'm going to just talk about some stuff that struck me that you've done mm. uh cuba cuba amazing beyond like skateboarding the in the prison top. right that's one of the top i've ever done talk about this okay um for years years and years and years um i wanted to shoot inside of a prison because they have some of the best like tattoo work right inside the prison so i said well how do i do it so i just said let me just contact the prison Four, four years, no. Denied, 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 denied. So then I was like, you kept, man, how You can kept I? hitting them. Oh, constantly. Like, I never stopped. Like, I bug you. No, <laughs> <laughs> never. <laughs> but I um, basically hit up uh, the prison, and they said no. So then I hit up Dennis Martinez, because he's, cause he speaks inside of, like, the prisons. He's like an old-school pro skater from San Diego. He made it happen. Yeah. And, and uh, the next thing I know, I'm up in Blythe. Here yeah. and um, uh, because and because he was a pro skater and because I skate and everything and all that, we were allowed to bring skateboards in. So Dennis made it happen, like, yeah, big time. And I just said, this has never been seen before. This right, this has never been documented before. Well, dude, and I mean, skating in prison, like they must have been going nuts. Those too. are those are weapons, like I, like yeah, I would yeah, think. of course. But well, anything in prison is a weapon. They became kids. Yeah. Like they lined up yeah. to ride on a board, and like there's so many images I have of other inmates that were riding mm -hmm. that. So what was it like once you were in there? Well, for me, it was. It just ba basically made me look at them different. Yeah. Because of course, like we think prison, you know, bad guys. Yeah. They're some of the most together people I've ever met. I know mm -hmm. it sounds weird. I know it sounds weird, but together in a way where mm -hmm. they have a sense of life what we don't get like he's a very we, bad guy has been in prison his whole life yeah like he's a nice guy he's a he's a teddy bear yeah <laughs> yep until we're like 80 or something because these guys had life yeah so they have that look in their eyes of like but you know what it is it's, I don't it's, it's anything money nothing just life the, and you know what that, and and they're they're taking advantage of life and living it to their fullest right and yeah. you know we all have um past we all, whatever but yeah, yeah some of the, some of the the biggest monsters in the world, I'm gonna mention names, to me are teddy bears. They hug me, they kiss me. Yes, yes, yes. And I I love them. But it's like they're scary motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. But I guess sure. you know if you, I don't know, man. It's it just was a just weird a thing. surreal experience, though. It made me change my whole direction of how my shoot was gonna go, because now I see them as human. 
Well, everyone's human. Like, yeah, but I was saying, uh oh, here's some thugs. I'm about to, you know, right, right. blah, blah, blah. You know, I got to act a certain way, but yeah, I yeah. didn't. You know, it was dope. Okay, dope. speaking on that, I'm just going off the cuff, man. Yeah. We have no plan for this shit. But, like, you grew up in Venice. Yeah, I came up in Watts, Florence, and Venice. Yeah, yeah. So, but you spent a lot of time in Venice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As for I sure. whatever. Uh, aggressive place. Big time. You learn to look people in the eye. Say what you mean. Don't mm. fucking just whatever. Yeah. And get through it. And hopefully you guys click and everything's cool. If not, you know what you're doing. Of course, of course. But um, I think, does that help you when you travel the world and you meet people? 100%. 100%. Right. Like, uh, the last fight I almost had was about a year ago. Yeah. Which I don't fight. I'm not a violent person, you guys. But uh, this fool in Paris was tripping. And, yeah. Like, I had to, you know, yeah. you know, do what I do. Yeah. And well, sometimes <laughs> that happens. Sometimes yeah, that happens. Sometimes, yeah. But, uh, but uh, yeah, but you do, like, um, if you're around, like, a lot of, st- like, strong men and women, and in Venice, everybody had everybody. Well, everyone's an alpha. So In Venice, everyone's like, an alpha. Yeah. So it's, like, mm-hmm. it's hard for the pack to get along, right? You know, I'm not from Venice. I'm just from Venice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not officially, like, not, you know, a gang member or anything. I just. You was just there. I was there. Yeah, yeah. And I had to fight in Venice a lot. <laughs> Remember, remember your graphic um, for Fine Magazine? Uh, what I'm doing that wall right over? No. Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> 1980. Man, I wish I could pull it up, but I probably can. Yeah. 1989 or 88. I think it was 88. Yeah. And it, and um, you Tame and Tame was here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And um, like you guys did the first pieces. Yeah. In the pavilion. Oh, bro, I, I yeah, put the pavilion. I remember. I, I, I. Mm. And uh, yours was right next to the. St- to the stage, remember? Yeah. Well, uh, this and Japanese you know magazine funny? came in and I did a wall right over it. So I, now I remember that. Everywhere. And yeah. I did with Vision, I think. Yeah, yeah, Vision yeah, was yeah, there, yeah, oh, yeah. of course. Of and course. Um, What up, Vision? Yeah, that's my homie right there. <laughs> that we're here. Um, it's funny, because like, hmm. <laughs> okay, Venice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, going over all that original shit in Venice, looking back, I was like, man, that's fucked up. It was getting, it, it was getting like fucking tagged and shit like that. You know, I don't like going over other murals and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But it got to a point where I was like, "Fuck these motherfuckers, bro!" Like, if anyone's going over, it's me. You know, <laughs> you know. And then, and all the homies from Venice, and uh, that happens. And you know, everything happens for reasons. But um, bittersweet. Like, I remember those pieces. I remember. And I'm bummed they well. went. O- they they got gone over. I have pictures of them at home. Bro, the front page of L.A. Times, roller skates before fucking. Uh, what do they call it? Rollerblades? Yeah, 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 the blades, yeah. <laughs> Roller skate, I, like skating in front of shit. Like, you know, people don't realize Venice was a fucking circus. It Chainsaw was, juggling. The best. The, no, best. Like, <laughs> the best. Nothing like it. Good times, too. Really, yes. uh, the mid to late 80s was like, uh, to me, like one of the best times. You know, I guess because that's, you know, when I was young and just now, like, absorbing it and everything. Well, I think we're, we're very impressionable mm-hmm. and. We grew up a lot of shit, man. You, you saw, like, so, I don't know about you, like, I'd be there and rock stars, to me, rock stars would come through, you know, whatever. And I'm like, oh, my God. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, you know, <laughs> I remember Ice T. I remember everyone come through there. I was like, what's up? Like, I remember one time Wesley, Wesley Snipes came. Yeah. And he tried to talk to my girl, and I was about to get yeah. him. It was yeah. so funny. And you would have had it, because <laughs> oh, homi- the homies like, were there, so you would have had it. Like, he would have been, yeah. been asked out. He was cool, though. Sorry, talked, Wesley. Yeah, like, we talked later. We made up, you know. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember Wes. And that's that's something about Venice. Let's talk about that. I've never felt so safe in my life. Um, it was a family because you had the handball courts, you had the basketball courts, you had the vendors, and you and you had the wall. So yeah. like basically, if somebody was messing with somebody over here, you had everybody coming, and that's just how it was. Bro, one of my first risk pieces because I wrote surf until I got busted was a risk piece. One of the first, maybe the first, was at the handball courts. Mm. And it's a terrible piece. Wait, which cool. one? It's so bad, I'm not going to talk about it. Oh, like, okay. <laughs> it's so bad. But that was years before I actually bombed Venice, right? Mm. So uh, it was dope. But I remember, like, uh, I don't know who I could talk about, but like, I remember, I love you, Jimbo. I'm not Jimbo, putting you on blast. what up? But that motherfucker came off a roof. Someone said, well, are you risk? <laughs> and he took it the wrong way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And they got. No way. What? They got handled. Like, I was Whoa. like, oh, man. But, like, you know, that was Venice. Like, you know, like, whatever. 
uh, Vision and, and, and Bagel. What up, Bagel? What up, Vision? Um, hey, bagel. Uh, yeah. I remember sitting, uh, he, they lived on Main Street, where that street is, like, and I was sitting there in, in the window drinking Corona because I was new. <laughs> you know, that was the shit, right? Corona. And, I, and Bagel was pissed because I was a runaway and I, on their couch. And these motherfuckers are like working, paying rent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he wakes up every day. He's like, "What's this dude doing on the fucking couch?" <laughs> and Vision's like, "Shut the fuck up, it's my homie." Like, and I was like, "Whatever." I'm just sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me and, and Jamie are in the window drinking Coronas, looking down, you know, cat calling chicks and doing dumb shit. Yeah. And Bale comes home. And he's fucking had it. And he knocks Vision out the window with a fucking two by four. Bam! Ooh, and I'm like, "Ooh, that's crazy." Wow, I look down. I'm like, "Oh bagel. shit!" And they start fighting, right? And they're running around fighting, whatever. And uh. There was a cop, an off-duty cop that came out with a shotgun. Something happened, whatever. And all of a sudden, that's the epitome of Venice, right? So these dudes just like were like, whoop, split the script, and everyone went against them. Like, yeah, everyone's like, that's how it was against the cop. Like, yep. and it was like instantly. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, um, like we fought amongst ourselves. It was a brotherhood, it was someone you know. Else, it was all-out war, basically. But um, okay, let's talk about. So you've done what the Autry Museum? What, what's it? Autry, yeah, like um. Um, at the Autry Museum. What was that photo, though? Oh, it's photos. Photos, okay. Photos. Yeah, it's yeah. like 12 of them from the prison. From the prison. Yeah, it's uh, basically um, a part of California's history. Yeah. You know, showing, you know, yeah, yeah. inside of California's prison. So they have this beautiful exhibit of, of my work, and it's a permanent um, exhibit at the Autry. Permanent? Permanent. No, like, six months. Yes. That's, so you just rubbed that in because I've only had six months showing us. <laughs> so, like, uh, your grandkids can go see it. So that's what's done. Thank you. They will. Yes. Yes. Um, some of the projects you've done. Um, Oof. Man, tons. One of the coolest is, well, like, I have, a, like, several photo series. Yeah. Like, like I have coming out, which I really, really love. Yeah. And, um, like, I want to go back to Cuba. Because I want to go my way. Okay. You know, because I went, um, like the government actually flew me in. Really? You know, to go do it. Yeah, it's, they did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, Cuba, it's just a place where I wish everyone could experience it. Because when we got off of the airplane, like we just saw these circles of people, and in Brazil, basically, uh, when you see circles of people together, they're actually like serving. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, they're selling drugs. But in Cuba, like I asked a driver, like I said. Uh, what's all these people like like sitting around in circles? He's all pep they're talking. <laughs> because they didn't have cell phones. I felt so stupid. I'm like, <laughs> well, look about Cuba. So I used to watch these movies and I saw like the taxis were like 57 Chevys. Oh, dude. I'm like, I'm going to get all these cars. Amazing pictures. But then I, I, I did some research and they they're don't like have any. Shells. They don't, but they have, they're shells. They're they got shells. no fucking nothing. So yeah. I'm like. They're beautiful, looks amazing. Yeah. But they're shells. Uh, remember those. Um, those um, aluminum toothpaste things, like what people would use for toothpaste, and you roll them yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Well, they get them, they pound them together, and like that's their exhaust. No. Yeah. That's I said, no way. So there's pieces of, I mean, they're, they're all engineers out there. They really? just make stuff, and they make it work. Yep. That's crazy. That's where they get their aluminum. Suicidal tendencies, right? ST, Mike. Um, great. Energy to me, uh, epitome of punk rock is them. I don't yeah. really think they're punk rock. I think they're their own thing. I just, it's, it's Agreed. a weird thing. Agreed. But um, I think you're the, as far as I know, the first official photographer for them. Yep. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and you traveled with them? Many, many times, many years. Let's talk about that. Yeah, traveling with Mike is the best um, <laughs> because he's, it's um, like, it's like traveling with your brothers. Yeah. You, you know, it's always just cool, it's always chill, and it doesn't matter the country you go to. Of course, there's bickering sometimes in between. A lot of it. A lot of it. But I just kick back and I just take pictures. Craziest one. Mm -hmm. Like one time, I got mad. Mad. Ooh, I ain't never seen him get that mad. <laughs> <laughs> he was mad. We were in um, Santos yeah. um, in, in, a, in a Brazil, out of Guarujá. And they're on stage. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. And I thought something sounded different, and I couldn't tell. Yeah. And Clark was air guitar. <laughs> Sorry, Clark, but he was, and Mike just phew, went nuts. Yeah, yeah, he went crazy. Yeah, I remember right. Mike yeah. fought uh, Simon. Uh, yeah, that's right. What's his name? I'm on TV on the little thing. Yeah, but yeah. it was at a trade show. I did clothing, right? 
So I remember this was at the trade I show. I remember you at, um, and, uh, at California Mart. They did this fight, and I was like, cool. So I tried to schedule a fight. But I picked, I figured, I'm not going to say who I picked. Nah. Bad motherfuckers. <laughs> and we never made it to the event because they're like, I was like, Whoa. events canceled because these dudes wanted to kill each other. I'm like, yeah, wow. it was supposed to be just a boxing match. I was like, this is going to get. <laughs> it's going to get crazy. Yeah. Huh? Wow. But I remember he did that, and I thought that was so cool because uh, they fought, you know. And it was just like, you know. They used to do fights in Venice with just the homies. Right. Like this when I was young. I was too young, though. But yeah, they would always just box in somebody's backyard. Yeah. Everybody. Unfortunately, I had to do that. Nah. <laughs> <It wasn't laughs> Me neither. I, I didn't fight. It was I not, just skated. I was just too I busy. fought dudes that were like, it was not fun. Dude, there's a tooth. Right, there's yeah. a tooth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that was a long time. Builds ago. character. Builds um, character. This is a photo. I'm doing with Pep, and it's Jay Adams. You know, he's it's safe to say he's the original. You know. Z boy, yeah, Z boy, um, dog town, all of it, and he's a yeah. gnarly motherfucker, big time. And I think that uh, a lot of people see him as a monster. When you meet him, he's like I said he's earlier, just, he's, like he's one of those dudes bear. that's a teddy bear. Yeah, yeah, big you time, know? big time. And um, you told me a story about this photo, and I want to share it because yeah, the story is fucking awesome. <clears throat> yeah, the story behind this shot is uh, basically back in uh, 2010. I went to shoot him out in Hawaii because he couldn't leave to come yeah. to the mainland. So uh, this magazine wanted to shoot him, but Jay didn't want to be bothered with nobody. So I just told the mag to, you know, give me some money and yeah. like send me to Hawaii and I'll make it work. So me and Jay hung out seven days, like straight 24 seven, slept on his floor. So at this particular time, he had just come in from surfing. Yeah. And he was actually talking to a young girl who was sitting right over there about, like maybe two minutes or yeah. maybe like 20 seconds before the shot was taken she was upset because her boyfriend had just left her and then he's literally like he became in like like an adult father figure right which i never knew jay could ever even be that but okay let's talk about that though crazy. because when i grew up in venice yeah. ever ever been like i've yeah. had dudes that were adult father figures and the weirdest dudes ever yeah, yeah. Because you'd be like, that motherfucker? And he might have saved my life. Yeah. He might have talked me off of a ledge that I could never come off of, you know? Mm -hmm. So when you said that to me, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Because, you know, I'm young, I'm dumb, I'm full of cum, and I want to fucking just yeah. make my point. And I'm going to, like, make the ultimate point, which would have changed my life. And totally. certain dudes were like, motherfucker? Exactly. Wake the fuck up. So that's Jesse what hit was me. like that to me, Jesse Martinez. That's what hit me when you said that. Yeah. You know, because like, you know, I'm trying to be the best at everything I do back then, and I'm a little off my rocker. And mm. you can do shit that's like really fucked up. Yeah. And there's been certain people that are monsters that are like, don't do that. I just got out of prison. I did that. And you listen to them. And I listen to them. You listen to them. I don't listen to like somebody. Some no, but whatever. listen to them. Yeah. And anyway, so I love that. That cuz I, you know, me and Jay, you know, hung out and did some time together. Yeah. Um so it was cool. Um but I love that, man. And yeah. I love that the way you capture him. He's just looking off to the space. I get what he's saying. He's like this. She's saying this. He goes He's thinking about like, all right. He's like thinking You're about doing this. That uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh. bad ending, you know. Yeah, so so uh, the phone rang. So the girl um she gets up. And I'm sitting maybe maybe ten feet away, and I'm and I'm shooting with a 50 millimeter lens, and she gets up, she goes to the phone. He doesn't know I'm shooting. Yeah. And the camera's in my lap. Yeah. And I'm like, please be focused. Yeah. I'm like, bam, bam, because I got yeah four shots off, and he's just sitting there, and that look he had, it just made me just like this is this is the type of photography what I want to do like yeah I, like I want pieces that actually speak to you that says things and his eyes of all the shots I've seen of Jay I'm sorry this is the best one it is you know and I, it, I mean yeah it's like it just it's captured it. it's like, him it's him at this time period and this photo like, I've had here for a month two months more than that kid. more than that <laughs> my bad <laughs> 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 Wait, last year? No, no, <laughs> no. no just but I come out and look at it all the time. I'm like, how do I do it justice, right? So <laughs> it's, it's hard, man, because, like, 
mm. I'm not getting into my, my things, but like, there's so much I want to do to it. That's yeah. counterculture, right? You know, I'll tell you later, but like, I just know that he would laugh. Yeah. Like, I want to paint him like a rainbow. Perfect. Perfect. Just him, you yeah. know? And I'll give you the reason later, but like, just like, it's just some funny shit, right? That he would, like, make yeah, he this, would dig. He's he like, dig. this motherfucker's funny. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he would. I, I'm, what I'm not doing is all the typical shit that you'd think. Please don't. You know? Please, no, no, like, letters or, or mm. whatever. No, just something, like you said, something that would make him laugh, something that he would dig. Yeah. Just be like, wow, this is cool. But I only got four frames. Yeah. And I actually have the frame of him, him with the girl and then three more like this. And, and like, then he looked. Like, um, he looked at me. Yeah. And then I said, hey, let's uh, take some portraits. And that's yeah. when I took those popular portraits of him, where he's like this and yeah, you know, yeah. like that. Yeah. But these were, these are probably, this is, I'd say, top, definitely top three of all the images I've taken. Dude, Venice was such an important part of my life, but I wasn't, like, from the hood. I was just, like, there. You know? All these yeah. dudes, like, block. And, uh, everyone was just my friends. And the, the sense of camaraderie, like the sense of like, you need to walk into a, like I used to. I, no I, I had Sorry. a lot of I had a lot of uh, beef, you know, doing graffiti, and walking in some place, I'm like, oh, there's a the homies. They had me, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember all that. I remember all that too well. <laughs> but the best part was at night when, um, like the um, homeless guys. Oh. Like, come on, because they were down. Yeah, yeah. They were on your team. Yeah. You know, anything went down, you know. A funny story, homeless guys. So I'm sitting there. Uh, you remember the Zephyr piece? The Zephyr piece on the on the breakwater, like the, the, on the wall? With the, with the lady? The silver Zephyr piece. Like, that's one of the most famous graffiti pieces in L.A. This dude, Zephyr from New York, came painted the silver. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Zephyr piece. Cops come, we run, we hide oh, in the fucking rocks. The homeless dude there. He's talking about, I'm like, shut the fuck up, motherfucker. Keeps talking, I'll bust your, like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. He's like, keep talking, I'm like, the, the cops are like flashlights. <laughs> I'm like, dude, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm knocking you out, right? He goes, uh, he's, I'm not, he's like, what are you doing? I'm not doing graffiti. He goes, I know graffiti. I'm like, you don't know shit. He starts talking about Talking 23. Wow. He's an encyclopedia. Brrr, he wow, he wow. reads off the whole article that was in the New York Times. I'm like, what the fuck? I started talking to him. He's a savant, but he's a Wall Street dude that made millions that can't live in society, so left his wife. Long story short, he's living in the fucking rocks in Venice Beach. That's crazy. But he knows everything. So I was like, I sat there until daylight talking to him. That's Just like, wild, you know. man. That's yeah. wild. Yeah, we used to sleep on top of the pavilion as kids. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because we wanted to uh, ride the ramp in the morning. Because in the afternoon, all the good guys would come. You know, like the pavilion is great. Because we used to paint it. Uh, we used to paint, and um, we had someone on the pavilion. So the cops are like cat and mouse. They're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh, you go this way. And the cops are like, how come we can't catch them? I was like, that's fine. Someone's just like, that's <laughs> left. That's right. Like, that's da -da -da. so crazy. And it was just funny as fuck. Because they'd be running around. And we're like, it was a joke to us. Wow. It was a fucking joke. Wow. We went and drank and came back, and they were like, what the fuck is going on? You know? something. And that was a substation at one time. Of course. I remember that one. Um, during the LA riots, they tried to take our boards. Really? And they took a few people's boards, and then you had to come back come back the next day. It, it was me, Murray. Who else was it? Uh, Will, Aaron Murray? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think um, Hartzell was there, but I'm not sure. But, Hartzell, uh, I love Hartzell. But uh, William got his board taken. Yeah. And he was mad, and the cops just took it. Like, come on, what are we gonna do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, this is a, doing the riots. 